this video is meant for the recapitulation of the term relation actually the term relation the topic relation is combined with the term function or the topic function and according to the curriculum provided by the cbsc in the board exam this topic relations and function will have eight marks be allotted for that and under the head of relation we are supposed to understand the types of relations which has reflexive symmetric and transitive kinds of relations and these three collectively are called equivalence relations that means if any relation is of all these three kinds then that relation is considered as equivalence relation so we are to understand equivalence relation also and along with these terms we are also supposed to know about equivalence classes of the elements of uh, the set okay so before starting with the recapitulation process i hope we should just recall those terms which are already known to you we teachers are expecting from you here the first term that is associated to the term relation is ordered pair ordered pair so ordered pair what does it mean must be recalled i hope all of you are well known to this one as the name suggests ordered pair ordered pair as the name suggests that it is a pair it is a pair which is having some order so this is a collection of this is a collection of such kind of pairs which are ordered okay so before talking about the collection i am just talking about the pairs ordered pairs so ordered pairs are such pairs which are having some order orders so if we write first of all uh, i would like to recall coordinate of any point that is a very good example of ordered pair suppose that a point p has its coordinates as 2 comma 3 coordinates as 2 comma 3 then it means that the x coordinate x coordinate of p is 2 and y coordinate of this point p is 3 we never say that the x coordinate of p is 3 and the y coordinate of p is 2 we never say because it is having a certain order the first one is always mentioning to the distance of the point from the y axis that is the x coordinate of the point so this is a very good example to just uh, recall what the ordered pair means so the ordered pair means it is a pair in a certain order and now now a second fact related to ordered pair is the is the equality of ordered pairs if two ordered pairs are given to us and said these two are equal then it means that it means that their corresponding elements corresponding elements are equal to each other i mean the first element of the first ordered pair must be equal to the first element of the second ordered pair similarly the second element of the first ordered pair must be equal to the second element of the second ordered pair so simply if i take an example like this a b is equal to c d then then it means that a must be equal to c and b must be equal to d okay having this very concept having this very concept we can say that two ordered pairs such as a comma b will not be equal to b comma a until until a is equal to b if a and b are equal only then a comma b will be equal to b comma a otherwise these two ordered pairs will never be equal to each other because if i say a comma b is equal to b comma a if i say then it will mean that the first element of the pair a 
will be equal to the first element of the pair D. So certainly, certainly, A should have been equal to D. So mind it, two ordered pairs cannot be equal to each other until these two are equal. Their corresponding elements are if equal to each other. Only then we say that these two ordered pairs are equal. Okay, having this one, having this one, if we take an example to make it more clear, more understandable, if we take an, an example like this, suppose that a pair like this 2a minus 3 comma b plus 2 is equal to 3a plus 1 comma 2b plus 5. If these two ordered pairs are taken as equal pairs, then according to the definition, their corresponding elements must be equal to each other. And according to that concept, 2a minus 3, this is the first element of this pair, must be equal to the first element of this ordered pair 3a plus 1. And at the same time, and at the same time, their second corresponding elements must be equal to each other. So b plus 2 is the second element of this ordered pair must be equal to the second element of this ordered pair 2b plus 5. Okay. So now we can find the values of a and b. However, I was only eager to make it clear that two ordered pairs are equal only when their corresponding elements are equal. But I should make it, uh, I should uh, find the values of a and b also. So a is equal to having this one minus 4 and having this relation b is equal to minus 3. So we could know the values of a and b. B. However, I just said that I was not eager to find the values of A and B. I was making it clear that two ordered pairs are equal only when their corresponding elements are equal. Now, I want to just uh, recall the term Cartesian product. The term Cartesian product, actually the Cartesian product is nothing but the collection of those ordered pairs. If if we take two sets like A and B, A and B if are two sets and we are collecting all possible ordered pairs from A to B. That means we are taking the first elements, first elements from set A and the second elements from set B and we are collecting them as ordered pairs. Then the set that is a collection of such ordered pairs is called Cartesian product from the set A to B. Suppose that A has elements 1, 2, 3 and B has elements 3, 4. Then if we collect all such pairs whose first elements are belonging to set A, that means 1, 3, second element from set B. So 1, 3, first element 1, second element 4, First element 2, second element 3, first element 2 from the set, second element 4, first element 3 from A, second element 3 from B, and finally, first element 3 from set A and second element 4 from set B. These are six ordered pairs in which the first elements are belonging to first set and the second elements are belonging to the second set. If we are collected as a set, then this particular set is termed as A cross B. That means A cross B is a collection of all possible ordered pairs which are met by taking the first elements from set the form from the first set and the second elements are taken from the sec, uh, second set that is B in this example. And now the The fact which are very well known to you that the number of elements present in A cross B is clearly equal to the product of the number of elements in A into product of number of elements in A and number of elements in B. That is equal to 3 into 2. The number of elements in A is equal to 3 and the number of elements in B is equal to 2. And when we find all such pairs which are made 
by taking the first element from set A and the second element from set B, we got six such pairs. That means the the collection of those ordered pairs are six in numbers. That means the number of elements present in A cross B is six. Okay. Now, in this process, we can understand. We should understand one more fact here. One more fact here. If these two sets A and B are having some elements common to them, suppose that set A has elements one, two, three, and set B are having elements two, three, and four. These two elements are common to them. Two and three are common to them. That means A intersection B. Contains two and three. That means the number of elements present, number of elements present in A intersection B is equal to two. Then we know that A cross B is not equal to B cross A because one comma two that is that is an element of A cross B. One comma two, mind it. One comma two. Here one is taken from A and two is taken from set B. So one comma two is an element of A cross B, but one comma two is not an element of B cross A. If we take B cross A, then it may be an element of B cross A. Maybe maybe seems that these two are equal, but these two are not equal. Clearly these two are not equal. If they would have been equal. Then in that situation, this one must have been equal to two, and that is not the situation here. So one cannot be equal to two. So this is not true. So if these are not uh, correct, that means we cannot understand. We cannot take as we cannot take as a cross b is equal to b cross a until unless a is equal to b. Now I was talking about. The common elements of A cross B and B cross A. Here, in this example, we took two elements common to A and B. Two elements common to A and B, two and three. And now, I am just mentioning, just uh, making it clear that if we want to know the common elements of A cross B and B cross A. Common elements of A cross B and B cross A. That means intersection of these two will have elements equal to this two, this two to the power. That means if set A and set B would have been five elements common to them, then A cross B. And B cross A would have been having twenty-five elements common to them. Twenty-five pairs would have been common to them. Twenty-five. How we could get it? Five elements are common to them. Then five square. That is twenty-five elements would have been common to A cross B and B cross A. So that is written here that uh, if A intersection B. Has a n elements in in, a, in it. That means a and b are having n elements common to them. Then the elements element that is we are talking about the pairs. The elements common to a cross b and b cross a. That means those pairs which are in a cross b and also in b cross a must be equal to n square a square of this number. Okay. So if they are Having four elements common to them, then the common elements of A cross B and B cross A would have been sixteen. Another fact. Now, I would like to define. Just uh, rather, I should say that I am going to recall the definition of relation. What is a relation? Actually, it is suppose that. The students who are uh, now in standard twelve are well known to the definition of relation. So why I'm talking? I'm just uh, calling, recalling the term uh, relation and definition of that one is provided to you. Here, 
if if we are having a set a and set b okay if we are having a set a and set b and and we are collecting some pairs some ordered pairs which can be made by taking some elements of set a and some elements of set b as first element and second elements respectively then the collection is called relation mind it i am just uh, recalling the sentence wh what i said why what i had uh, said to you earlier that a cross b means collection of all possible ordered pairs made by taking the first element from set a and the second elements from set b relation is a set of some of the ordered pairs from that particular set that means a cross b if a and b are two sets and we are taking some elements from a cross b and making that one as a set then clearly that one will be a subset of a cross b here this symbol r makes sometimes confusing no never never become confused because this this r is this r is for relation actually for any relation we could have used uh, an alphabet like a b c d x y z any any one but usually we use r because this gives a feel that we are talking about relation so r whenever we write r then it is uh, not said but it uh, it is a very much uh, message to the listener that we are talking about relation suppose that in place of r i am writing an x then it would have been made very clear that this x is a relation from a to b but if i write r then you just understood that we are talking about relation from a to b so if i say r is a set that is subset of a cross b then r is called relation from a to b okay in the next video we will talk about the relation in depth okay have a nice day thank you